U.S. Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin, said on Friday the killing of Hamas leader Yehya Sinwar opened a major opportunity for progress in attempts to achieve a ceasefire in Gaza. Speaking to media at a press briefing in Brussels where Austin was attending a NATO summit, he said Sinwar devoted his life to wrecking the chances of peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. He's finally been brought to justice, and that removes a huge obstacle, he added. Austin said the top priority for the U.S. was the release of the remaining hostages who are still believed to be in Gaza. The hostages should not have to suffer one more hour in captivity. Those who are holding hostages should release them immediately, he said. The defense secretary also touched on the war in Ukraine and Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky's victory plan. The victory plan is President Zelensky's plan, and we're going to do everything that we can and provide security assistance to support the president as he tries to accomplish his objectives, said Austin. It is not my position to evaluate publicly his plan. We have been supporting him by providing security assistance in a major way for over two and a half years, we are going to continue to do that," he added. Zelensky's plan is aimed at prompting Russia to end the war through negotiations. A key element would be a formal invitation into NATO. However, NATO partners have been reluctant to invite Ukraine to join while the war is ongoing. As you all know, Israel yesterday killed Sinwar, the leader of Hamas. That's a major achievement. And it opens a major opportunity for progress. Sinwar was the architect of the October 7th terrorist assault on Israel. His plot left 1,200 people dead, including civilians from more than 30 other countries. And that includes the United States. He was responsible for the deaths of many Americans over the years, including more than 40 Americans murdered on October 7th and four murdered American hostages. Sinwar devoted his life to wrecking the chances of peace between the Israelis and the Palestinians. He's finally been brought to justice. And that removes a huge obstacle. Our top priority is the 101 hostages still kidnapped in Gaza, including our own American hostages. They have been through hell, and so have their families. And the hostages should not have to suffer one more hour in captivity. Those who are holding hostages should release them immediately. Sinwar's death also provides an extraordinary opportunity to achieve a lasting ceasefire, to end this awful war, and to rush humanitarian aid into Gaza. Again, the victory plan is President Zelensky's plan, uh, and we're going to do everything that we can to provide security assistance to support the President uh, as he uh, tries to accomplish his objectives. Now, what we, we all want to make sure that we continue to do is to link uh, military objectives to uh, strategic uh, objectives, and, and you know that dialogue continues. And you know, I just met with uh, Minister Gumerov uh, today. We talked through a number of those uh, those uh, things. Again, our focus is going to continue to be on doing everything that we can to support the Victory Plan. Uh, it's it's or support uh, President Zelensky. Uh, it's not my uh, position to evaluate publicly his plan. We have been supporting uh, him by providing security assistance in a major way for the, over two and a half years. We're going to continue to do that.
Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky said Thursday that support from his embattled nation's Western allies is key to his victory plan to end the country's devastating war with Russia as he laid out details of the plan to European Union leaders. Zelensky was also shuttling across Brussels to meet with NATO defense ministers. The EU is a key supporter of Ukraine, a candidate member of the 27-nation bloc, as it fights Russia's invasion that began more than two and a half years ago. Zelensky outlined the five-point plan to Ukraine's parliament on Wednesday without disclosing confidential elements that have been presented in private to key allies, including the United States.